Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 6 of the same topic. We have already done some of the problems of this innings in the previous video. If you have not watched that video, you can watch it. And then we will go now today with the question number 6. So what should be added to minus 6p? into minus p minus 1 to get this expression so now what should be added means we can just put any random here so we can say let x be added to this one so uh, the, we'll write this here and you will put here plus x whenever we you see, see here to get means is equal to this is here the expression is here so now let us expand this first. So this is going to be 6p square plus 6p and this is plus x and this is the same. So now we'll put this, we want the value of this x. So this will write the same. And if we take here this one, so what will you get here? Minus 6p square. This is plus, so here if we change the side, it is going to be minus 6p. So this x is here, 3p cube is here. So this and this gets cancelled, minus 6p and plus 6p gets cancelled. So this will be same and this is going to be the same and this as well as this will be the same. So now these are the like terms. So plus 5 minus 6 that is going to be minus 6 plus 5 that is going to be minus 1. So usually we don't write here 1. So that will be minus p, p square. So this will be the same. So the x is this. So we will write here therefore. 3p cube minus p square minus 2 should be added to this expression. So this is the answer. Now here this said subtract the sum of this first will take the sum from a square minus 3ab plus b square. So now let us take this sum first. So we will write this expression here plus your sum means you are going to add it. So now let us expand this one. So you get a square plus a b plus instead of writing b a we can write a b and here plus minus becomes minus b square. So now why did we write a b? So now because this is a b so this are the like terms. So this will be as it is. This is 1, this is 1. So that is going to be 2 a b minus this b square. So now whenever you have this from word so after that whatever the expression is that should be written in the start. So this is here. And then you are going to put, some, put a sub, minus sign over here. And then you are going to subtract this one. Because this is the sum of it. They said subtract the sum. So this thing will write in a bracket. Because they, they have three terms. And there is a minus sign over here. So now this will be the same. Minus. We will expand this one. Minus a square. Plus minus minus 2ab. And this will be minus minus becomes plus p square. So this is that. So now let us see here. a square and minus a square gets cancelled. Now here minus 3ab minus 2ab, let us bring it together. Then plus 2b square plus b square, that is together. So this is going to be minus 3 minus 2 is going to be minus 5ab. And this is going to be 2 plus, this will be plus 3b square. Now here simplify and evaluate the following for x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1. So this is the expression given. So now what will you do here? First thing, now let us first simplify. So this will be as it is. Now we'll think of this bracket first. So now what you can see, these are the three terms. So we'll take the LCM of the denominator here. So this is 16. So this should be 4 multiplied by 4. So this also should be multiplied by 4. This is by 2. So this also should be multiplied by 2. So this is what I have written in this step. And this will be as it is. So now 16x square, we'll keep it as it is. So now what will we do here? This will be 12. And of course here this x and y we have to write. So that will be 12x minus 2y plus 1 divided by 16. So now this is actually multiplication. Whenever we put a bracket, that means. Here this and this gets cancelled. So only xy remains. And now what will be here? What we can do here? xy into, because this is gone, into 12x. Then this xy is for all terms. So this into this, this into this, and this into this. So into 12x minus x y into this 2y. And this x y into 1 means we can just write x y. So now we are going to expand this one. This will be 12. And this will be 
x into x that is going to be x square and this is y so 12 x square y minus here 2 now x is alone so here x and y into y that is going to be y square and this is y square x y so what will we write here this 12 x square y minus 2 x y square plus x y this is the we got the expression after we simplified now we are going to put x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1 in this expression so this is the expression and whenever you see x you are going to put minus 2 and in place of y you will put 1 x minus 2 in place of 1 this is 1 square minus 2 and 1 so other things are going to be the same this is going to be the same this is going to be the same and the signs are also going to be the same so here minus 2 square so whenever we have the even exponent that is going to be always positive it means minus becomes plus so this is going to be two, 2 square that is going to be 4 into 1 it's the same so now here minus and minus this is going to be plus and this will be 4 again here plus minus is going to be minus and this is going to be 2 so now 12 4s are 48 plus 4 minus 2 so 48 plus 4 that is going to be 52 52 minus 2 that is going to be 50 so this answer is 50 now verify the product of 7p into 2p square minus pq plus q square for p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to 1. So now let us write this expression first. So when we expand this one, so what do we get here? 14 p cube. So here minus here 7 into p square q. So this is 7 p square q. And when we expand this one, that will be 7 p q square. So now here when you put here p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to 1. So p is equal to minus 1. So when you put here, so minus 1 cube. So this will be as it is. So minus 1 square and this will be 1. So here this will be p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to q square. That will be 1 square. So here when we write this one minus 1 cube. So minus 1 cube. So that is going to be minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. So that will be. When we have 3 minus means that is going to be minus 1. So 14 into minus 1 that is going to be minus 14. Now here this will be just 1. And minus 7 into 1 that is going to be minus 7. And here this is going to be plus 7 into minus 1 that is going to be minus 7. So when we write here whenever we have all negative sign means you are going to add this one. That will be 28 but you are going to put the minus sign. Minus 14 minus 7 minus 7 that is going to be minus 28. Now find the expression for the area of a triangle whose base is 4 more than twice the height. So also find its value if height of the triangle is 11 centimeters. So now let us see first part. So now 4 more than twice the height. So let us consider let the height of the triangle be x. And the base of the triangle is 4 more than twice the height means base is going to be 4 more than twice the height. Twice the height means we have considered this as x. So twice the height means it is going to be 2x and 4 more. 4 more means you are going to add 4 to it. Hope this is good. This will be twice the height and 4 more means you are going to put here plus 4. So that is what I have written here. That is basis 2x plus 4. So now what are you going to do? Now we want this at the area of the triangle. So area of the triangle means that is the formula is half into base into height. So half, so base we got as 2x plus 4 and the height we have considered this as x. So this is into multiplied by x. So now what we can see in this one, we can take two common. So 2x plus 4 means these are the two terms. We can take two common. So it remains as x plus 2. So this half will be as it is 2 into x plus 2 for this one. And this x also it is as it is. So what happens this and this gets cancelled. So this is x plus 2 into x. So whenever you have like this means you will multiply this into this and this into this. So x square plus 2x. So now we got this area as x square plus 2x. And now what did they say also find its value. If height of the triangle is 11 centimeters. So height we are considered as x. So wherever you see x that what you are going to do. x is equal to 11 centimeter means this area we got as this you can write here if you want here a so for better understanding so here a is equal to we call this is the expression so in place of this x we are going to put 11 so 11 square plus 2 into this 11 
So 11 square means 11 11s are 121. And this will be 22. So when you add this one, that you get 143 centimeter square. So we can see area of the triangle is 143 centimeter square. So by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.